Progression of disease in IPF. It means that patients gradually reduce their capacity of uh, performing uh, normal physical activities. And in addition to that, they have a number of symptoms that uh, contribute to the reduction of their quality of life. Uh, mainly cough, which is one of the major problems for these patients, but then dyspnea on, ex on exertion is clearly the most important and significantly impacting symptom for these patients. So the progression of the disease means that over time the capacity of exercise is reduced more and more, calf is becoming more and more important in these patients, and so this is going to be interfering with daily activities, with sleeping, with social activities, and uh, with the progression of the disease patient, they will get an oxygen treatment, further reducing their um, social interaction and activities. So I will say that this is a debilitating disease that over time it's going to affect all the different dimension of quality of life. Last but not least, it's very important to keep in mind that these patients on average are 65 years of age. That means they are not young, they are not old, but they are still active persons and around them there is usually a family or a social support. Uh, IPF is impacting non, not only the quality of single patient but also the quality of life all the extended group of people staying around these uh, patients. That means that the caregivers, the so-called caregivers, they will be challenging uh, important uh, uh, issues like uh, moving from one floor to the other or taking the patient out for consultation or even managing oxygen therapy at home.